comes to game fishing, Australia has a really rich place in history. Now, famous novelist and game fisherman Zane Grey visited back in 1936, and he had glowing reports about plays like Bermagui in Batemans Bay. Australian anglers are thrilling to a new sensation. They have discovered in their own waters the world's greatest fighting fish, the black marlin, the striped marlin, and the broad-billed swordfish. But one place that went under the radar was Aladulla. And Aladulla was about to make history in game fishing terms like no other. And it's a story few people know. Aladulla is a couple hours south of Sydney and it naturally unfolds around this beautiful harbour. With a long history woven into the commercial fishing industry, Aladulla also remains both a popular tourist destination and a game fishing destination. Oh. And it's home to the Aladulla Game Fishing Club. Back in 1938, it was called the Milton and Illawarra Fishing Club. Then back in 1953, the Aladulla Game Fishing Club established. After Zane Gray's visit, his tales of big fish didn't just excite the imagination for anglers locally, but worldwide, and created a hype around game fishing that we'd not seen before. In an effort to maximise on the rise in interest, the fishing fraternity of the time convinced the government to put up a trophy to mark Australia's 150th anniversary. As a result, in 1938, the big game fishing competition was held and some 580 anglers entered, including a woman by the name of Jess Sands. Jess came from a pioneering family in Aladulla. She'd read all the publicity about the tournament and was eager to enter. Now, naturally, she presumed that her husband would skip her their boat, only to discover he'd already charted out to another crew. So she teamed up with the Puglisi brothers on a boat that is still in the harbour today. Fishing a split cane rod and an underhand reel with just 300 yards of line, Jess hooked a fish she'd never seen before. And she saw the bottom of the spool not once, but several times. It certainly wasn't a tigra. However, catching the fish proved the easy part. The real battle ensued when she rang the organisers or booked a call in those days. She was duly informed there were no provisions for a female to win. I guess it hadn't occurred to them. So it took two days of back and forth communication with the, like, the committee members in Sydney. There was one provision. The capture needed to be weighed. With the closest certified scales located at Jervis Bay, the marlin was duly strapped to the top of the family car and they headed off on the dirt raid all the way to JB. Jess won the tournament and she also set the Australian women's record on 60 kg tackle for striped marlin. That's when they set the record at 330 pounds. And that's what makes this tournament such a like, remarkable achievement for Jess Sams and for our town and community is that that record is still to this day to be beaten. Today, the annual game fishing tournament held out of Aladella is named in Jess's honor. and anglers like Chloe Lawrence compete amongst the best of them. 2015 was our, our first year here um, in our little 5.2 metre Cedarcraft. Um, no canopy, just the two of us on board and uh, we actually won the trailer boat section that year. Um, yeah, this is, it's such a great comp, like being a, a comp named after a female is wonderful, but just in the years that I've started, the progression of seeing how many women are now entering this comp and doing so well. Even last year, one of the um, a new boat from Victoria came up. They won, and it was champion female had caught all of the fish. And now, Tom and Chloe are introducing the next generation to game fishing. It's. It's changed. We are used to big weekends of Tom and I probably just coming down here 
fishing all weekend and now we've had a family, we've got two little boys, um, which is a bit challenging. It's making the balance of fishing and family life a bit difficult, but we're slowly getting our eldest boy, who's going to be four in March, um, into it and he is loving even just the simple things of going out and catching slimies from here, which is so easy. He goes out and he catches kingfish or whatever he does. With us now, it's like we're slowly introducing him into this and we're hoping that he is going to take to game fishing as much as we have. Because it's something that brought us together and now as a family, we're really hoping that our boys will share our passion for fishing. For, for me, it's brought, it's brought some perspective to fishing and a new appreciation of you know, the smaller things. Um, we used to go out and, you know, you catch one marlin for the day and you'd, you'd almost be a bit disappointed. Chloe and I were sort of getting to that stage, whereas now you go out with the kids, you catch one, they love they it. See they see it. it jumping around and it's just, you know, it's the best day ever. So it's um, it's brought, you know, it's brought that new, element new perspective and a new element to, to our fishing, which, is, which has been great. Yeah, look at that. So we fish mainly mainly 15 kilo down here, a little bit of 10 kilo as well. Um, they're sort of the, the optimum line classes for sort of maximum point scoring. Um, you know, 10 can be a little bit light on, on some of the really big fish you do get down here. We do so get a mix, a very a, big yeah. mix of the big fish and the little so fish. there is, is a little bit of risk of, of fishing 10, albeit, you know, you can get maximum points for a fish tagged on 10. So it's finding that, uh, that balance between being able to turn a few fish over on, on slightly heavier line class versus, uh, you know, those maximum point scoring fish. This year's tournament was a roaring success with almost 80 billfish tagged. Over the course of this weekend it's been sensational. We've had striped marlin, we've had blue marlin, we've had black marlin and one that you probably won't believe, we actually had a sailfish caught on the Friday that was estimated at 50 kilos. It was tagged and released. Now that's unheard of to get a sailfish down here. And it's a testament to Jess Sam's legacy, not just for women in game fishing, but for its place in history for this proud town and the Ella Game Fishing Club. And a record still stands today.